Well, the long holiday weekend is coming to an end. That doesn't mean there isn't more baseball. In fact, the Mets are home tonight, starting a homestand that will go right up until the All-Star break. Here's your Hyundai starting lineup for Milwaukee. Christian Yelich still trying to get his season going in the right direction. Willie Adamas, the big spark plug. Keston Hira. This changeup was outstanding, so he has developed all three pitches, fastball, slider, change. He'll be using that against Milwaukee. That he didn't have before. And he lines one at the shortstop. Lindor grabs it for the first down of the night. And McGill goes off speed and strikes him out with the changeup. Beautifully done by McGill to get Yelich for the second. That's still in the future. Grounded over third, past a diving VR and down the line. That'll go all the way into the corner. On his way to second, Adamas, and he pulls in with a two out double. 0 2 from McGill, and he comes Whoa. inside and hits him. So Narvaez is hit by the pitch, and the Brewers have two men on. Fastball gets him looking. Taylor frozen on the fastball. McGill with his second strikeout, and that gets him out of first in any trouble. James McCann now starting for the sixth time in the last seven games, trying to keep his hot bat going. Pete Alonso homered in both ends of the doubleheader. First met to do that in 15 years yesterday. 16 starts. He's won his last two against the Cubs and Diamondbacks. Only gave up two earned runs. Woodruff gets in on a pop up right near the mound. Four infielders converge, and it's the second baseman Peterson to catch it for the first out. And that is take their big arms. The door toward the hole cut off nicely by Hira, and a nice toss to Woodruff who reaches back for it. Triangle defense on the right side for the Brewers. And he strikes him out. Came inside at 97. First strike after Woodruff, and the Mets are down 1 2 3. No score after one. Comes with a fastball on three and two and misses with it, and Peterson's on with a leadoff walk. Swing and a miss, and he throws fastballs by Hira for his third strikeout. He pulls that one on the ground, could be two. McNeil to the R and on to first, in time for the double play. Four, five, three on the double play, and the Mets turn two behind the Two coming to Alonzo. And Pete takes a fastball for strike three call. Knees in black on the inside corner. And rung up by Trip Gibson for the first out. It's tapped up the first baseline. Woodruff has won a gold glove. Makes the play. Six up and six down for Woodruff to start his night. First two innings against Tyler or McGill. Who takes care of Woodruff with high heat? Fourth strikeout, first time through the batting order for McGill. 2 2 coming. And Yelich chases a change up again. And McGill gets him for the second time. Five strikeouts for Tyler McGill through the first three. No score at City Field. That party after that first awesome. start. It was awesome. We had a great time. You know, one of the things that, that James McCann said is. <laughs> um, but my mom would absolutely not be in it, not say a word. And there's a fastball on the outside corner, and so. The McGills will have to wait a little longer for Tyler's first hit. Narvaez gets one in the air to deep right field. Back goes Conforto near the wall, and it's out of here. Omar Narvaez with his eighth home run of the year gives the Brewers a 1 0 lead. Now Narvaez hitting cleanup, a catcher who can hit. And he takes McGill deep for the first run in this game. And Taylor chases a slider for strike three. Six strikeouts now for McGill. That and the opportunity. Peterson skies one to left and Dom drifts over toward the line. And that retires the side, but Omar Nervais has given the Brewers the early lead. One nothing as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Which would be understandable. Punched the other way by Nemo. That's a fair ball. And the Mets have their first base hit. It caroms off the tarp, and Nemo in easily at second base with a leadoff double. And Lindor gets that bunt down, and Woodruff thought about third, goes to first, and Peterson picks it off the top of his head. Dom hits one out to right center. That'll get the run in. Tagging at third is Nemo. Bradley makes the catch, unleashes the throw, but Nemo beats it home, and the Mets tie the game. 
So the sacrifice bunt leads to a run. Dom Smith delivers the sacrifice. And he chops one out short and Adamas waits on it. And that retires the side. Mets get even on the Dom Smith sack fly. 1-1 one, one after four. Fulton Wong to play second base. The goal Glover. He's hurt right now. And McGill strikes out here on a fastball for the second time. And he walks Woodruff. Yeah, that's not the way he wanted this fifth inning to go. And he chops one down toward third. So he hit it to the left side, Ryan. The art throws him outside, retire. I got to retire as much as anyone in the game. Conforto drives one out to center, chasing Bradley back, but he's got room. And he makes the catch, two out. He scored the only run of the game for the Mets. And VR bounces one on the right side for Hira. Woodruff covers, and it's an easy one, two, three inning for the big right hander. That's Loop's numbers for the season. Yellow Joe for two with two strikeouts in his career against Loop. And now 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. And set him up with the curve, strikes him out looking at a fastball, and Yellick strikes out for the third time tonight. And Narvaez goes down swinging on the cutter. And Loop has himself a dominating 1 2 3 inning with a couple of strikeouts against the best hitters in the Brewers' batting order. Still can't get over Jordan Yamamoto's layup. <laughs> McCann takes a call third strike, second time he's been caught looking tonight. Shifted perfectly. Adamas right there to field Nimmo's ground ball. And that's nine in a row set down by Woodruff. Put right into the ship yesterday in game one as he finished the ball game, pitched an inning in that game. It's a wall, one run of their last 15 innings. Swing and a miss, and Lugo with the high heat strikes out Tyrone Taylor, who fans for the third time. And that fastball running in on here strikes him out for the third time, all on fastballs. 3 1 coming. And Lindor takes inside ball four, and the Mets have a leadoff base runner. First walk of the night for Woodruff. And he swings and hits one up the middle. Base hit. Lindor around second. He'll go on to third. Dom Smith finds the middle of the diamond, and the Mets have their second hit of the night. And the lead run at third with nobody. He winds one down the line, and the Mets will take the lead. Lindor is in. Smith digging for third. Gary DeSarcina is going to wave him home. Dom hits for the plate. He'll score ahead of a throw by Adamas. It's a two-run double for Pete Alonso. And the Mets lead it 3-1 to one on the seventh. For DeSarcina because he has those jutting stands in his way. Topped up the first baseline by McNeil. Woodruff makes the play to get the out, but that advances Alonzo to third. Too big of a lead at third base. He's made it smaller now. That's lined in the right field, a base hit for Conforto, and that'll bring in Alonzo with the third run of the inning. Conforto breaks out of his slump, and the Mets have cashed three runs against Woodruff in the seventh. They lead four to one. And now the Mets will try and keep it going against the rookie right-hander Miguel Sanchez. They brought him up from Nashville a couple of weeks ago. Had some good numbers. And the yard chops along the right side. Peterson has to wait for it. Gets the out at second, and that's all. That's the second out of the inning. And McCann hits a ground ball right into Damas. He gets the force, and that ends the inning. But the Mets score three runs in the bottom of the seventh. Alonzo with the big go-ahead double. 4-1 Mets going to the eighth. He was dominant last night, a 1-2-3 inning in the nightcap with a couple of strikeouts. Out to right field and over comes Conforto to retire Garcia for the second out. And he hits a shot up the middle. And he's got himself a two-out hit. Just the third hit of the night for the Brewers. One for three in his career against May. And he lifts one down the left field line toward the corner goes Pilar and he gets there to make the catch a step onto the warning track and that retires the side. Maybe he goes on Wednesday. Mm. <laughs> Casey. Line the other way and Guillermo has got a base hit. Man he just continues mm. to produce lefties righties starting off the bench. Tom or McGill has given you nice efforts three times in a row and Gimmel bangs one into center field for his second hit of the night. Another terrific at bat for Nemo that day. I will never forget. Inside ball four, and Lindor wants to load the bases. 
So Lindor with a sacrifice and now a couple of walks tonight. See his numbers so far, but he has not given up a run in a Brewers uniform. Popped up shallow right coming in is Taylor. And no chance for Guillaume to tag. He'll take a step in and draw the throw. Oh. What kind of throw is that? Alonzo grounds one to third, a chance for two. Urias to second. And Peterson turns the double play, and Strickland gets the Brewers out of it. Now Edwin Diaz will come on for the save in the ninth. You see Diaz's ERA 2.84. In non save situations, 6.39. Lugo pitcher of record on the long side that's lined the other way and that'll stay fair down the line a base hit for Adamas he'll settle for a single as Conforto cuts it off nicely and so the Brewers have the leadoff man on in the ninth and that's outside ball four and thus the Brewers have the first two men on in the ninth and we'll get the tying run to bat. Hit hard toward the hole. That's a base hit for Taylor. Around third, Adamas. He heads for the plate. He'll score without a throw. Tyrone Taylor drives in a run to make it four to two. And now the tying runs are on base with nobody out. And here come the Brewers. Struck him out. He went to the slider. It was right in the middle of the plate, and Peterson missed it. And that's the first down of the ninth. Struck him out. Two men down. And Bradley Skies went along the left field line. Pilar was playing very deep. He comes in. He's there. And the ball game is over. Diaz bends but doesn't break. Pete Alonzo with the big hit to put the Mets in front. And the Mets take the opening game of this series between division leaders as they defeat the Brewers 4-2.